Hey guys, it's Justine. And I'm Jenna. Welcome to episode 17 of the Same Brain Podcast. Roll that intro. Yeah, roll it, copy and paste it from the previous one and make it seem like it's all brand new for this one. How's it going, Jenna? Good. Welcome to episode 17. I've got a little cup of coffee today because this is an afternoon podcast shoot and I'm sleepy. Yes, you are sleepy, uh, but at least you seem to be in good spirits today. It's rare. I know. Probably because I'm having some caffeine. I'm really excited for when we have our own same brain mugs. It will be soon. Logo. Soon, I promise you. You're we're just, promising? Yeah, because- You I, always said don't promise. Well, but we want mugs, so we're gonna get the mugs, but I just want them to be good quality. Same. So today we also have a Tyler mic. Tyler's over there, we've got it. Hi. So he, we're always talking to him off the, the mic, and I was like, well, we just- he just set one up for himself today, so now it's it's legit. I'm here for technical and moral support only. Otherwise, please don't talk to me. You're not fact checking? What about emotional support? I can fact check. Okay, okay we, fact we check. love a good fact well, check. I think before we do that, we're gonna go ahead and read some of our reviews as well as listen to our voice messages because oh, yes. we always forget. And, and we, we are staying on track today. Do it last episode because we had special guests. Very true. All right, so here we have a review on the Apple podcast. This is from Caleb. I love Jenna and Justine as much as, oh gosh, I can read. It's fine, you're learning, we're all learning here. (laughs) I love Jenna and Justine so much as content creators and this podcast is an amazing thing to have while I'm working on a task where I can't be watching a video. You can also watch the video. You can, and here's another thing, Jenna, did you take a screenshot of that so that we can put it in? Yes. Great. I didn't. They're always they're always the perfect balance of informative and entertaining. I especially love the iPad episode with guests from Apple. You have to listen to this podcast. You have to. You have to. Or you, you can to. watch it on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash same brain. It was really cool. We had people from Apple on our podcast to talk about the iPads and you could subscribe on Apple Podcasts. Oh my gosh. I know, I'm shook. I am also shook. Would you like to do a voice message or should I just keep trying to read? We have some voice messages, which I'm extremely excited about. So if you guys wanna leave those for us, you just go to anchor.fm slash same brain. And guess what? You can leave us some really good content like, like this. I haven't listened to any of them, so I can't promise you what's gonna happen. Hi Jenna and hi Justine. That's My us. question is, oh, where should question. I watch or listen to the podcast so you can guys get the best statistics and the best sponsorship? Because I want you to keep going. I love your podcast. I love what you are doing. You're bringing the beautiful energy along with it. And uh, I just can't get enough. Thank you for what you are doing. Sending love from Russia. Oh Bye. Oh my goodness. Sergey, know. thank you so much. He wants us to get sponsors so we can keep going. I don't know We're, the best way. I, I mean, honestly, whichever way, if you want to watch it on YouTube, if you want to listen, whatever you want to do. We really yeah. just did this for fun. If we eventually get a sponsor to help pay for, you know, electricity, that'll be cool. But in the meantime, I'm just happy that you guys are enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. And especially because Justine pays for all the electricity in yeah, this house. Yeah, so. it's fine. It's cool. I'm just excited because we have a couple episodes coming up that are really fun. So basically when I kind of- Envisioned? Yeah, when I envisioned what this podcast could be, and once we kind of discovered this roadcaster, you can take this anywhere. You don't need a computer. You just hit record on this. You have the mics and you can basically do a mobile podcast. Yeah. So what I had envisioned is we take this thing out in weird random places that you wouldn't normally be doing a podcast. Mm. It's true. We and did want to do one in the back of the Sprinter van when we were traveling, but it was so loud and Justine was passed out for, whoops, I hit the mic. No, no! <laughs> oh no, they're both at the same time. Oh my gosh, we're not sure of our emotions. Anyway, Justine was passed out in the car the whole time. So I was like, well, I don't think we're going to be shooting a podcast, but no, that like, also gave us the inspiration for what we can do. And what I wanted, I really, so I pictured it. We were out in the middle of uh, the desert when we went to do the A7S three review. And like, I wanted to have like a wide angle shot of the van, kind of like it's dark, It's it was, it, the sun just went down because the A7S III has really good light, like low light. And then we have like one close up camera of like a cool little light while we're inside the van. And then we have our little roadcaster and we're doing our thing. We still can. We can. I think that it's, it's, uh, it's definitely a possibility, but we have a couple podcasts coming up where we leave the studio. <gasps> Spoiler, the one we were sitting in the, back trunk of my van, my car. It's not a not, van, not it's not com- even a car. It's not as SUV. comfortable as the, like it's not as comfortable. My legs fell asleep a couple times, not comfortable. but it's really cool. So, okay, we got sidetracked. We did, but that's okay. I, you know, we're chatting with our friends. Okay, we do you are. have another, uh, do you got another thing over there? Yes, this is a good one. It says such a great podcast. 
Cool. I love it. Short, sweet. Oh, this is a good one. We have to, we, we're not, we all, not only reading the good ones. This was rated one star, terrible. Nobody's talking about nothing. Oh, do you know, let's, 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 uh, I would nobody's just, talking about nothing. I would like to say we welcome criticism as long as it's constructive. That's, so this is just hate. That's we not, don't do that here. No, that's the last one that we will ever read. It is. We will not be reading any more. I just want to let you know we do welcome constructive criticism on how we could make it better. Anything you'd like to talk about. We usually see them on tweets. You can send those with the tweets. Everybody is somebody. It's true. That's also grammatically incorrect. And they're they're actually saying that all of you are talking about something. <laughs> no, like nobodies. Like, like we, we, are, are, we nobodies. are nobodies. Oh, like. Yeah. Yeah. So like we are nobodies. Like we're weird because. Um, oh, do they know you? I don't know. Apparently, <sighs> I guess. I mean, hello. You know, like I don't like to be like. Dur, 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 dur. She, but I'm going to be like, like dur, 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 dur. let's see what Gigi has to say. Hi from Australia. I love your podcast and I think it's really great. Thanks. That is all we needed to That's hear. That's what we like to hear, Gigi. I love these voice messages and it's so crazy because this basically just, okay, I, I just, I keep praising this roadcaster so know, much because it's, it's so great. This computer is hooked into the roadcaster and it's picking up the audio and then it just records everything on a separate track. So when we're in editing, like it's just all so beautifully lined up and, and we should, Tyler, we should make a video about how we shoot and like edit the podcast. Wouldn't that be fun? Oh yeah, sure. Just add it to the list. <laughs> Put it on the list. There are so many things on the list. Techtober is in full force. Do you remember when we shot um, the Fold review and the GoPro 9 video and we just kind of have not done it at all? I don't remember that actually. Yeah, I do. And then I look at it in my folder. I'm like, do I just delete this? Like, are we actually going to do the review? I don't. It's hard not to tell. sure. But so anyway, much stuff keeps coming out so quickly. Yes, uh, but yes, thank you guys for your for your messages as well as your reviews. We appreciate them. So much stuff is coming out. How many videos are you working on? Actively working on right now in this moment? I mean, there's probably honestly fifteen. <gasps> oh, I'm slacking. I'm only working on like five. It's okay. Some of them might not actually ever make the final cut, but we've shot a couple. That's it's good. just like okay, do I even actually care enough to post this video? It's so hard because it's like I don't I don't want to overwhelm my channel with tech, but I'm like, there's, this is, this is what's happening right now. So I, I don't know what else to do. See, I'm fine overwhelming it with it. It's oh. just, do I want to put all of my energy forth completing these when I could be doing some, something else that's like a, a more important video? I don't know. If it's important to you, then it's going to be important. That's true. I think, or, you know, SEO. That's also, it's true. That's also, SEO that's also very important. This mug is so bright. If you were watching the YouTube channel, it the video, bright. It, it, it's blinding me in the screen. I wish that I didn't already have my coffee in Yerba for the day. I've cut down. It's official. I, I'm able to do at least one cup of coffee or one Yerba a day. It I, took me I already had, but I spilled half of my Yerba, so it doesn't that's okay. So I also wanted to talk about, we are going to be traveling for the first time in about seven months. Oh. And it's a really scary thought in a lot of ways because we haven't done it in so long. I mean, what's it going to be like? I mean, I, I know... People have gone to the airport and it's just, it's like desolate. Or there's nothing. But are there going to be people? Like, we don't know. There's probably going to be some people. Are things going to be open? I don't Do we know. Get, we're gonna, I'm bringing my own snacks. I'm bringing also my own snacks. My, I'm, well, I'm going to have to buy water there. But we, uh, to prep for this, we went to the drive through COVID experience. <laughs> yes, that's the official <laughs> thing. So it's like the self-administered drive up nasal swab yeah. COVID test. Um, and it was at the forum and it's the weirdest thing as we were driving up there, I was like, Jenna, the last time that we were driving to the forum, we were going to an Imagine Dragons concert. That was such a nice experience. It was lovely. And now we were driving up there through the cones. You, did you meet, you made a vlog. I did make did a vlog. Did you post it? I have it. Well, by the time they're watching this, I think it's going to be posted. Yes. Well, we will put a, some B-roll in here of that. And we drove up and we swabbed our noses and we put it in like this little little like, hazmat oh. bag. And then we threw it in what looked like a big trash can. It was a big trash can. It actually, it was. And then we got our results in like less than 24 hours. It was about 27 hours. I got my negative COVID results. Tyler and I were here shooting and you said you had got yours. And I was like, I didn't get mine yet. I was like, Tyler, what do we do? If, it, if I test positive, are you going to leave right now? Or do we just continue shooting? Do we just accept it? It's really scary. It's like in school when you took a test and like you think you failed or like you're like pretty sure you did bad I'm not saying I thought I had COVID but it was like that same experience of like waiting for a test result and just being like oh my god like 
Wow. I mean, I haven't really been sick. I feel fine other than just being tired, but that's just because tech season. So it's like not like I really was that sick. I just wanted to make sure before I traveled, before I put myself around our family, around other people while traveling, I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. And I mean, I, I didn't, I was like, I feel great. Like I've actually felt better since I've started eating better and exercising more. I was like, man, I feel awesome. Is that why I feel bad? Cause I it just could keep be. eating sugar. It okay. could be I since understand. I've stopped eating so much sugar, like my joints feel better. Mm. Anyway, that's what happens when you start getting old. But I was like, I don't, I don't think there's any way that I have COVID, but it was still really terrifying because you don't know. You could be asymptomatic. That's true. And that's the reason that you wear the mask because I'm protecting you as somebody else who could potentially get what I have, even if I don't have anything. Like you wear the mask for other people, you know? Yes, I do understand. But you get it, it. It was a pretty pleasant experience though. I will say it was very, we were only there for probably like seven minutes. I feel like the lines aren't as crazy. And you, we did schedule the night before an appointment time. Um, so yeah, it was very- we drove we, up, we rolled up. We you think our insurance do not, covers it. Do not put your window down. I drove up and the first thing I do, I started putting my window down and the woman like started backing she's up like, and she's like, put your window up. Yeah, I was like, like, no, 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 don't do that. Um, So how it is, I forget what the actual website is, but- It was like LA it's, County it's like, and it's probably different the government, for everybody. Yeah, so it's gonna be different, but LA has a pretty decent website where you can type in your address. It'll tell you the closest one. You then go ahead and fill out the form. You do type in your insurance, uh, but if you don't have insurance, I believe it is- um, Funded, subsidized, yeah. Yeah, so it will be paid for by the government, which is very nice. So yeah, it's it was pretty pretty easy. It was and easy. then I picked my time. You also picked your time and yeah. Consider, up. I would not say that like you get your friends and go do it. Like, no. we, we are together like every day or else we wouldn't have I kept calling it our COVID carpool. <laughs> I was like, you're ready for COVID carpool in the morning? It's definitely not something you should do, but yeah, we're, no. we're always together. So it kind of just made sense that we rolled yeah. up together. Which I mean, realistically, probably only one of us probably need to get tested, but we yeah. wanted to be sure. A yeah. lot of places now are requiring, um, if you're going to be traveling, 72 hour results before you get on the plane or I enter the state. Yeah, which I think is it's good. I mean, the thing is, is like they need to make it easier to get the tests and just like make sure it's like quicker, you know? Well, to, this to is pretty quick. No, this was, but they, it did say originally two to three days. That's it why did. we it had said, booked it in advance. Did it say two to three or it said two three to, three. to five? Well, I guess it did say two to three. Yeah. So I was just like freaking out. Cause I'm like, oh my God, well, this takes three days. And like, I just want to make sure I have my results, but it was pretty quick. But then a lot of people too were like, that's not the real test. Well, then what is the real I was test? Like, well, then why is it being administered this way? Uh, mm, uh, you know, the internet what? has a lot to say. They have but, a lot to say. Uh, so in other- but So do we. In other news, Trump has COVID. Oh no. I mean, yeah. We'll move on. Uh, we don't. And you know, that's not to- <laughs> oh, That's to us not, that's to that's us, us not having it. That's us not I was having it. myself. Uh, and that's not oh to say boy. that, you know, we might not get it. And it's really scary the fact that we are getting on a flight, but we've been so careful in so many ways and yeah. I'll continue to be careful. And there was a tweet that somebody said, cause I had posted, I was real fired up this week after just, you know, seeing Trump sort of kind of not really like, well, I mean, he basically disregarded everything that everyone has been doing. Yeah. And somebody had wrote and written back, whether they're a Trump fan, whatever, he said, you know, I don't want to be afraid of COVID, but I am being mindful. And I was like, that was one of the most, I feel like responsible answers yeah. because I don't think that we, we have to be sort of a little afraid of it, but we can't keep living like this way. Like things have to adjust. Yeah. And I think adjusting to what that new normal is and being mindful is so important and just having empathy for other people. And I think that's just something that I feel like he's lacking publicly for like, sure at least fake it in your tweets to make us feel a little bit better like you actually care if people weren't making the mask such a political thing and it was like hey we can all go back to normal we can have our jobs back you just have to wear a mask if you're able to and then i mean no i know that's like crossing a lot of it's on the fence of whatever but just i just like, if you wear a mask i just wish it wasn't political because if it not, wasn't yeah. then it would be, be like okay a cool. whole different story i know we keep talking about this know. but it's, so silly. it's just just think if, about how many people lost their jobs and can't work just because of, you know, everything that's been shut down just because people won't, I don't know. It's, it's upsetting. It's very upsetting. It is. So I just hope that, you know, try to somehow make this not political. Like you're wearing a mask to protect somebody else's family yeah. or your family in general. Anyway, that's, that's our thoughts on that. COVID carpool. COVID carpool. It was a pretty easy experience and we're going to be traveling. So we will uh, keep you guys posted on how that is and all of our safety precautions that we're gonna take. I order. ordered more masks as well as I went and got like a ton of hand sanitizer and wipes. Mm -hmm. I, so I'm, I'm 
excited for that. I got a do not pet for oh. Maddie, like a little thing so that nobody tries to touch the dog. And yeah, we, we get to, your slimy hands off our dog. And we have to make sure we clean his little paws too yeah. after we go through the airport. Yes, so we do. There's, and then we'll give him a bath as soon as we get home. Oh my goodness. God. It's going to be really crazy. I but. even thought about like, usually we get off the plane and we like hug our parents. Like, do we like, can't we do that? We can't touch, I'm not going to touch. I'm Should not we, touching how them. How do we even get to the airport? Oh my God. We Go! Could, I don't want to take an Uber. I don't ever want to get a stranger's car. I will pay one of our friends to put us in their car. Tyler's waving. I'm looking at <laughs> Tyler. Would Tyler. you like a hundred dollars? I got you guys. Would I'll, you? I'll, I'll, I'll sanitize my my car and and we'll it'll be fun. I mean, if you one hundred dollars, like, I think we could be in your car. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh my god. Okay, Tyler. We also need to be picked up from the airport. One hundred dollars. One. And you get a hundred dollars, and you. <laughs> Which honestly, when you think about how much money you're spending on Uber, oh my god, and a how, lot, and, and to have a bad experience, yeah, I've had some very bad Ubers. I've had we, some very bad. We talked about the very before. smelly. I have something more important that I want to talk about, Jenna. Is it Maddie? No. Well, yes, but no. We're going to talk about Mario Kart Circuit. Okay, I okay. love that. I started kind of briefly telling Jenna about this, so you kind of turn your house or wherever you're at into a real life Mario Kart. So you get actual carts, there's Mario and Luigi and they have little cameras on them and that connects to your switch and you're able to drive around and it makes a augmented reality course out of your house. You get a couple little, um, you get like little course markers and you get little gates and it is so awesome. I was watching a couple demos. Wait of it. a minute. Jenna, it's honestly so cool. So it's like a, it's like a, augmented reality experience where the cars don't actually move? No, the cars are real and they move. And there's a 50 CC, a 100 CC, 150. And I think there might also be a 200 CC. So as you kind of go, you just sort of unlock these different courses. It's so great. Do you just do this in like your yard and like grass? No, 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 inside the house. Oh, you do it in the house? Yes. Yeah. Who has room for that? It, you You make room. It's oh. not like a big course. Oh. So I have you, so many questions. Wait, if you don't have a lot of room, then you would do like a 50 cc course because it doesn't go as fast. Does it work on carpet? So Brienne, yeah. So she has a, she has a lot of room. Could we play outside in the street? I I don't know. You know, you I don't think you should play in the street. I think this is like an indoor activity okay. because you can control the light, you can control the area, and it's really really cool. We need to get a warehouse. I think that we need to get a warehouse, empty warehouse. Do you remember when we? rented that warehouse with Farouk yes. and we had the tanks. Yes. They weren't, the, well, we don't call them tanks. What were they? What are we? They? Battle what? bots. Rob, oh, they, ro uh, Robo, DJI, Robo, Robo, Master. Robo, 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 the Robo master. Oh my God. That was so fun. That was like the day before E3. And we <gasps> somehow like put that video all together. What Remember E3? A Phantom X pincher? What in the, what is that? Okay, we have moved on apparently. This but if we a get a warehouse. Kit. Okay, we, yeah, that has nothing to or, do with anything. Um, yeah, that would be fun. I think so. So Mario Kart Circuit comes out. It looks like October 16th, which is pretty soon. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Wait, Look how cool. Do, do we go in the cart? We don't go in the cart. Jenna, the, the cart is like this big. Okay, okay. It's so small. here's, you here's what was going on in my mind. I thought it was... Adult size carts. I thought you and I got in the cart. Oh my God. No, Jenna, they're small little okay, carts. Okay, so I thought that we went in the cart. Those exist. Right? They do. I know. They had a course. Yeah. But I don't know if they're like Super Mario brand, but I've ridden them before. Yeah, but yeah. like these they're are small. Fun. Okay, I have... Okay, completely. let me just explain this a little bit more. No, no, I no, understand. Maybe they I, don't understand. They're small little carts. They're remote controlled by your Nintendo Switch. So they have a camera on it. So what that camera sees is the course and it makes it look like you're actually Mario racing along the course. There's uh, there's different mystery blocks. So it's basically, it's like a real life Mario Kart court course. Did, Did you, you hear just, that pop? Was that your jaw? That was my jaw. Do you have TMJ? Yeah. But that was the other side. It's usually, the, okay, sorry. Jenna's not well. Good thing we're not doing a podcast where I need to talk. No, it's fine. Just, oh my just our, oh she's not well that's what i get for is yap in my beak <laughs> yap 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 uh the next i understand thing. now i get it now okay but so the mario kart we do not get in the carts no i, oh my, that, I was wondering why you're asking if we can go outside or if i thought carpet. like we i was like there's no way that us as human adults in adult-sized carts are going to be able to do this in your house 
Yeah. And then I'm like, well, wait, we don't need that much room. You just need like a little bit of floor space. I understand. So I'm a little like, disappointed, but you're thinking I'm, power wheels. You're not going to be disappointed when you see how awesome this it's is. It's pretty cool. Have you seen the demos? <gasps> you're going to, okay, let's hear, let's watch it. Let's no, no, no. It. We're not going to no, watch it. We are. We're gonna, I'm going to watch it after. Just take a look. Okay. This makes way more sense. We have room for this. I know we do. Like, look at this. It's so cool. You freaking. Okay, that's cool. I mean, this is insane. It's like augmented reality, but in your house. I want to stream this. Well, I guess you could. Yeah. Okay, it's really loud. Yeah, it is really loud. Okay, that's pretty I've cool. I've stopped okay, it. I understand now. I'm I'm down. I'm down to play it. So October 16th. Mm-hmm. It's pretty cool. Uh, I, oh, so next thing I want to talk about is the new Sony CF Express cards. <gasps> type A. I don't have one yet. So I ordered them. And the only place that I could find the 160 gig version was on Moments website. I know. And they're all back ordered. Yes. But you can get on the list to get them, which is very exciting. I'm on the list. Me too. Uh, and they also sent us over some Cinebloom lenses, the <gasps> filters to, to check out. So Tyler's real hyped about those. I am very excited. We're going to be beautiful. I know. Beautiful and fastly copied to the... You know, where the footage goes. <laughs> I'm not the, sure how to properly say that. The, the actual CF card reader is, it's bigger than I thought. It's also like made of kind of like aluminum, like a metal. Ooh. And it's like, it's heavy. It's, it's a thick boy. Is it? Yeah. I, I, mine's still in the mail, but that's okay. I Did you see Farouk's video or his test where he was copying footage and it copied, it was like eight gigs in like 11 seconds. It was so fast. I mean, we've been using it the past couple of days. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, I know. Copies I'm so cranky. quickly. Um, I wanted to start a new segment that was called, that's like, I don't know, like our tech of the week or something. Oh, so well, okay. I we're going to need that tech of the day for October. It's true. But I think that's going to be my tech of the week. Wait, I have a tech of the week. Oh, she does. I have one. She does. Oh. Okay, everybody. We've got the round of applause. Okay. So I actually shot a video about this today, which is not going to be out yet, but it's the, um, the, the MC aperture lights, these tiny little lights, but this is the, I've been talking to you about it. It's like the four MC light little traveler kit. And it comes in this cute little briefcase and it wirelessly charges and the lights basically magnetically stay in there. And then you charge the case. It's so cool. It looks so, really cool. So I've recently put magnets underneath my bookshelf and then I will just take um, the lights and I'll stick them on when I'm ready to film. And then I just take them off and put them back in the case. That's and really cool. I can change cool. the colors and the, like I can do presets so I can have the colors be, you know, the same for one video, different, whatever. And I can just control it with my app. I was just gonna ask, can you control it with an app? Jenna? I can control it with my app and it's got a briefcase. That's cool. I've seen it. It's really, really neat. I'm taking that briefcase home. You should. When we travel, so because there's a lot of stuff happening while we're gonna be at home visiting our family, the amount of gear that we're gonna have to bring home. What are you gonna bring home? Um, everything. I'm gonna bring the roadcaster so that we can do a podcast with our other sister. For you guys that don't know, we have another sister. I don't know. I don't know which one. <laughs> Brie. I didn't know which sound. It's going to be so me. great because she's not tech savvy. So oh she God. recently had to do a oh PowerPoint presentation. And I was very surprised. She did a really great job of putting that PowerPoint together. It was incredible. It was but about like this. Yeah, it was about migraines. It, no, it was, well, it was like a very high tech, like biological thing behind the migraines. Very nice PowerPoint. Very, very, you know, she's technically a doctor. She, yeah, she is. But she, she was like, I need to be able to open this PowerPoint on like another computer. And um, she's like, what do I need to go like to the mall to buy something? <laughs> We're like, how do I open buy? this? How do I open this PowerPoint? And I'm like, what is the question? <laughs> I'm like, I am so confused as to what you would buy at the mall. <laughs> To open a PowerPoint. I'm like, what did you make the PowerPoint on? She's like, well, a computer. No, like, she made it on her iPad. She did? Yes, I'm even more impressed. She made this extremely extensive PowerPoint on her husband's iPad. But I think, so okay. here's another that question. Because he has the new iPad, right? Yes. So okay. she was trying to figure out, like, do I need to put it on a, a jump drive is what she was calling it, which I don't think, do people still call them jump drives anymore? God, yeah, I didn't think I so. Know. I was like, I didn't think, yeah. I didn't have the heart to tell her that whatever the computer she might be using might be USB-C. She couldn't even, no, which most likely it probably wasn't, I, to be honest. I just, but like, what if it was? What if she goes and takes her jump drive that's like USB and she's like, this doesn't fit. What's that? And they'd be like, USB-C. And she'd be like, what's that? And then, oh my God. Oh, she's, so, you know, she is, she's brilliant when it comes to 
you know, scientific data, pharmacy, like you, you ask her any question about like health related things or like, you know, mixing medications, which is great because that's her job. Yeah. No. Now, I mean, but you asked me a tech question. I'm going to give you an answer. You asked me something about mixing medications. I'm going to be like, I don't know. I don't don't know. But it was incredible. I was like, you're going to go to the mall or buy something to open the power. (laughs) Like, what would you even ask the mall? (laughs) What store would she go in? Oh my God. I mean, the mall. My heart. My heart. It wasn't even like Best Buy. It was like, did we get a follow up to know how it went? No. Oh, I don't geez. even know. I think so. I think the the outcome was she emailed it to a woman who she was presenting to. Yeah, I think that was as well. As well. Yeah. And then we had to tell her that like about um, where she can use like Google Drive or Dropbox, oh. or, like Frame IO, or like then you then have a link, and in this link you will have whatever you uploaded. I her, don't think we gave her. Well, no, because her friend that did a presentation at this place too, suggested that she upload it to a share drive. So she goes, brief. what's a share drive? I go, oh no. Oh, we're in trouble. trouble. And trouble. it's like anytime, I think even like her last phone, it was like my previous phone and she like bought it off me. Like she doesn't really care about tech. No, I mean, they do have our parents old iMac, which they yeah. basically use to watch videos with the baby. Um, the baby watches bubble guppies. Mm-hmm. I forget how the song goes, bubble guppies. Let's not, let's not get that in How does it go? Head. I don't know. I mean, let's How does it go? I don't know, Jenna. We don't, I don't like bubble, bubble guppies. Bubble, 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 You better get used to it because we're going to be around that baby and she's going to be bubble guppy. And which one do I even push? There it is. Bubble, bubble, bubble. I also bought, I bought the child. She just recently turned one. The child, I bought her some outfits last night and basically everything I got her was something that I owned in an adult form, like a plaid jacket. I got her, you know, those skull pajamas we have? Got her that in a onesie. No, that's so cute. Which one's the pink one? They were gray. Okay, should we bring our gray ones home that we can match her? They're blue. They're blue. It's fine. Uh, I also like that our sister bought her like like heavy metal t-shirts they bought her like a metallica shirt red hot chili peppers and i actually have that red hot chili pepper shirt so i'm gonna wear that and match the baby the child the baby i bought her these little um apparently she doesn't have hiking shoes because she doesn't really walk yet and i was like no if we're gonna be outside i'm buying her north base boots so i mean i'm she doesn't really walk. No, she's going to walk. We're going to go there and I'm going to pick her up and I'm be like, listen, you walk, you walk for us. <laughs> I bought her a camo rain jacket because it's going to be rainy and it has, so it's camo, but it has dinosaurs. So I bought her a little uh, gi for jujitsu, but I don't think it comes with a belt. So I'm going to, I think I'm gonna try to make her like a little white belt for it. Okay. And then maybe I'm going to teach her a couple of things. A couple moves. What are you gonna do? I think I'm gonna probably teach her like side a re- control. It's very important. Probably she could probably handle side control. I think she might be able to do a real naked choke. I'm not sure. Oh, probably. Maybe like a neon belly. You know, like you know, maybe like an arm bar, like real quick. You're real quick. Okay. okay. Real, real simple. Well, stay something. tuned for all of that content. I'm probably gonna <laughs> yeah. try to vlog, but who knows what's gonna actually happen. Justine, are you saying you're gonna fight a baby? Well, no, 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 no. Gonna no, no. Teach, teach we're the gonna, baby. We're gonna teach the baby. I want to get her started early because Kenny said he started. Well, she hasn't actually. I mean, she's what two and a half now. And I think they you can actually start taking classes when you're like five. They it's, don't make rain boots for babies. It sounds like you're gonna fight a baby. No, I think the baby's gonna fight me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if she's anywhere as near as strong as Bri- nearly as strong as Brienne, she Brienne is muscular. She is. It's crazy because Athlete. like you know what was really upsetting when I was working out so much, like to the An point, annoying amount. To the, I mean, I would probably work out three times a day, like lifting weights, yoga, and jujitsu, and then something else. And I could not beat Brienne in yeah. an arm wrestling contest. She just would like pick you up and just throw you down. I'm like, well. And I once took her, I think it was when we were in Tahoe. Mm-hmm. I took her to one class. Mm-hmm. And you know, the one thing that they teach you is like, you wanna use, uh, you wanna use technique instead of strength. No, <laughs> Brienne just would pick me up and yep. just, she just like picked me up and threw me. And I was like, huh, okay, well this sucks. Yeah, I'm very, very strong. So <laughs> She's so strong. I'm she was just, a gymnast. She was, yeah, she was a gymnast. I can't wait to get Brienne on the podcast. Oh my God. You guys, it's gonna be honestly something. So this is what, this is what's gonna happen. She's just gonna be like, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I I'm like, Brienne, you have to talk into the mic. And she'd be like, oh, right. Okay, but like, I'm gonna, what? Bri- Brienne, no, you have to talk into the mic. So well, I'm not bringing any mic stands, so she's gonna have to hold it. Oh God. So we're just gonna basically- Are we gonna get the baby on the podcast? I mean, I think maybe, we'll see what's gonna happen. I honestly don't know. What happens is every time we go home, we bring a lot of tech and we don't film anything. We're gonna have to because on 
October 13th, Jenna. We have a lot of things happening on October 13th. We do. We have a special video that's going to be released. And then we also have something else that we're doing that is going to be announced. And there's also the Apple event, October freaking 13th. Dude, busy. It's going to be, actually, October 13th is going to be wild. Is that a Friday? Uh, it's no, no, it's a Tuesday. It's a Tuesday. It's, a, it's, it's a not Tuesday. a Monday. Okay. Tuesday. Gotcha. It's not a Monday. And a lot of content coming out on Tuesday. Yeah. Wow. We, but here's the thing. The other day I was walking Maddie and it was, it was pretty early and I just had this like thought and just this feeling. And I was like, I'm thinking about iPhones. I tweet thinking about I iPhones. That. I liked it. And then I sent you a screenshot. Maybe 50 minutes later, Jenna sent me a screenshot of the invite for the Apple event. Now we all know if they're going to be announcing iPhones. It's just, you know, hypothetically speaking, we could potentially be. What else would they? It, they I know. Oh, okay. But it doesn't say. What it does say is high speed. 5G. I thought that they just had or a chip. put your name into the wrong database and they thought so that, I did that too. was your name. I was like, high speed. And I was like, high speed. High and I was like, speed. oh, high speed. Yeah. 5G. Yeah, I would say that's a blonde moment. Somebody tried to insult me and uh, my intelligence by saying it, I'm dumb because I'm blonde. And I was like, excuse me, sir, I have roots. This is a choice. And being blonde does not dictate how intelligent you are. Maybe they meant because you're using chemicals to dye your hair and those chemicals are seeping into your brain and making you dumb. Listen. Nobody said why. Listen. Don't ask me medical questions. Ask me a tech question. Brienne, is the chemical seeping into her brain? (laughs) What else do we have on the list? I don't know. Let me put on my glasses that are not prescription. Uh Uh-oh, our list is coming to a very, very abrupt stop. Oh my God. The next thing that I have is, uh, I put Trump has COVID on here like every other other thing. Yeah. Everyone has Trump has COVID. Uh, Okay, so there's another thing that also happened. This was like, like, like a week ago at this point. The Animal Crossing Halloween update. I finally got a chance to play it. Oh my God. It is so cute. It's, oh no, I haven't checked on my pumpkins. I've been watering them for the past couple of days. Oh geez, oh my goodness. I'm sorry, I just realized that I haven't watered my pumpkins. My pumpkins, I still have to water today and I gotta see what is in my special gift shop. No! Six o'clock, we can, yeah, you're gonna have to get home. We gotta end the podcast, bye. Jenna gotta go home. We'll water our pumpkins. I actually forgot, I'm really upset. It's okay, your store closes at nine o'clock and you're fine. Yeah, yeah, but my pumpkins don't know. They True. don't know. It's already been three days since I've played last. So really? they're probably- You're not going to get three pumpkins per patch. No, I've only been getting one pumpkin, but I planted a lot. Okay. Oh boy. So Trump does has this COVID. Mean, okay. Does this mean that you can, can you still swim? Yeah. You just got to put your wetsuit on. Is it? Oh. Yeah. Okay. I love the Halloween update. It's really cool. It's really cool. It's also I, exciting yeah. because I'm finally in spring now since I'm in the Southern hemisphere. What is your, is your grass turned colors? Is it like- No. Real, no? Not yet. What color is it? Green. Is it like real, real green? Well, it's or fall, like, so it's like you still have like you know. It's, but it's starting to turn colors. It's not as green as it was before. I ha- I no. It's I don't. I, it has to be turning colors. I can't even show you. Why? Where's your switch? It's on the dock. At home. Yeah. Oh, so I was like, what are you reaching for? <laughs> I thought maybe I had like a picture or like a screenshot. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, so the end of our list of things to talk about are. It's, it has arrived. Well, let's look at what's trending. That's always a good. It's gonna be not good things, most okay, likely. No, we could be something very exciting, like, dun, 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 dun. Oh, yep. the VP debate is tonight. Oh, so. oh, we're recording this on a Wednesday, it's so. It's a Wednesday, so it already happened, so. Hopefully. Yep, so, so let's hope it goes better than the um, last debate. Okay, mm. all right, I know what we can talk about. I want to talk about what I've been using my watch. Or been, I, I didn't make a video about it, but I've been using it and I've enjoyed it. That's another video that we're currently working on that really? we just kept shooting and adding, adding more stuff to. Um, I got my new band. Oh. The new pink one finally came in. Oh, that's, I forgot to reorder the blue in the, in the right size. In the size. Yeah. I, I finally sent back my other accidental order watch and the band that was way too big, but I don't know if it actually, I don't, I don't you know can if, look it I don't up. know if I got delivered, but delivered. I want to reorder the blue because the blue is my favorite. But right now, this is the new sport loop one. That's nice. So it has like the gray and the blue. See, I so thought you would like cool. that one. I still haven't set up my graphite or graphite. Uh, what is, oh my God, the the, the graphite, this, the, the stainless steel. Stainless graphite. Yeah, so stainless I'm still steel. using the aluminum blue just because this is what I had set up for my oh, review. I just realized that 
that's blue. What do you mean it's blue? Like the little clamp that goes from the watch to the it's nice. to the band. I like it. Ooh, it doesn't match. It's not matchy matchy. Have you been sleeping with it? Once. Well, I've actually, so I, I don't know. Like I've been feeling so much more rested because. You feel like there's pressure? You have to sleep? Well, yeah, because I, I set my bedtime and then I'm like, oh, I, gotta go to, I gotta go to bed, I gotta go to bed. But the wake up, the haptic tapping. Very like, gentle. It's so gentle. There's no sounds. I'm not like jarred awake. It's just like a very gentle tap. And I feel like that has been making me feel so much better. I did sleep with it once. It wasn't the worst. I like kind of, you know, got used to it after a while, but then I still have the bedtime set. Yeah. So I feel like there's a different alarm for when the bedtime is set than if it was a normal alarm. There is. So it's a little bit more peaceful. Yeah. But then I like to, cause I have my watch on my nightstand. And so when I like, I'm like, you know, waking up when it goes off, it can tell you, I usually hit snooze. It'll say like seven minutes, six minutes, three minutes left on the snooze. So it's pretty cool. Yeah. I really, really, really like it. I think that could be a good thing too. Cause it is nice. Like say you're in like a hotel or like maybe your, you know, partner, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife is sleeping and then it wouldn't wake them up. Cause it's just like a little tap. It's so great. So I that love is pretty it. nice. Yeah. I'm a huge fan of that. I think it's actually been helping me feel a little bit better. Um, I've been interested in the, so like the VO2 max data. Oh, let's compete. So there's been a lot of data in here that I really never looked at before. I've uh, never looked at it. Which is kind of crazy. Oh my gosh, shared health data. Tyler, Tyler, my son. You could see a lot of things. I connected one of my, um, I don't want to say Here's my one, sleep. but I've connected like my actual doctor to it. So all of my health records are also in my health. Look at my sleep. I did not move last night. Like that is just a straight Do you want to see my sleep? I think this yeah. is the only night I did it. Look at all those dots mm. or lines. Awake, 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 really awake. That is the time that I got up and I put Maddie back in bed because he was staring at me. What time do you usually get up? Seven. Okay, yeah. This whole week I've been getting up at six. Gross. So what's oh, your- Friday I took a nap and I reset it. <laughs> what's your- Wait, wait, this is my nap. Look, this is my nap. Oh, you can do it for a nap? Well, I just click a uh, bedtime on my watch and then it's, you know. So what's your VO2 max? Let's see. So, okay. How do you even find it? So I'm kind of confused because I think now that, yeah, I think it's like resetting the data. Mm. So, because well, I have the new watch. It's not that oh. exciting. Cause you can't really, if you're listening, it's really not. You can't that see it. So I it's think still, we're done now. We're, we're still learning. We're done with the podcast. I don't have anything else to talk about. Well, okay. We what can do talk you? about, um, yep. Yeah. <gasps> this is, I, cause I've got stuff to talk about, but I can't talk about it yet. I know, same. I feel like we've talked so much about everything we've been shooting and filming and I just don't know. I don't uh, know, Justine. I have a question for you guys. Oh, oh yes, question hello, for the audience. <laughs> um, <laughs> so you guys are going home to visit the fam. Mm -hmm. uh, we heard about going to hang out with the baby, fight the baby. Fight the baby um, yep. But I'm curious what you guys, I mean, maybe things are different now, obviously, but do you have any like favorite things out there, like places, restaurants, parks, like what, you know, things out there that you guys enjoy? Sarah's Candies, oh the God. local. What's that? It's a local chocolate factory where they have all types of chocolate, ice cream, candy it's made. The chocolate that we it's had the, the day that we went to Jenna's house, remember? Oh, it is that chocolate. Man. Incredible. I'm coming. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We'll bring I you know. some candy back. Okay. Bring you some back. They also yeah. you can also you can also join us as well if you'd like. Yeah, I mean it's far, but um, <laughs> but there's also Top Golf now in Pittsburgh, oh, which I'm, is pretty exciting. Yeah, and I've been watching a bunch of videos. I saw Dan from What's Inside. Yeah. They went and they have a lot of really great COVID procedures. So they have you know, each bay is blocked off. There's plastic in between. So hopefully we can maybe try that out too. That would be pretty cool. We don't oh, have so that fun. many days in between, but yeah. I just feel like by the time like we lose a whole day of travel because it takes so long to get there. There's no direct flights anymore. Um, and then like the whole next day, I'm like, I'm tired from traveling. And then it's like, I don't know. I just, I feel so sleepy at home. Yeah. And I mean, the gym that we usually go to is not open. I don't so even, is I, it even still in business? I don't know. It's really sad. That place has been there for so long. I mean, I would go there since I was like eight or nine years old. Yeah. So that is, I hope it's still there. It's kind of just really crazy. Like, I don't know what it's going to be like because here in Los Angeles, everything is really, really just intensified. I also think that one of our favorite restaurants is no longer, um, our, it's not there anymore. Which one? The, um, what's it called? The one that was like that 
um, older old house turned into a restaurant. No, when I we don't went think to have, we had brunch. Yeah, I think it's now like a steakhouse. Wait, when did that happen? I know. Well, over, it, the, over the past seven months, maybe before that. We oh my we god, we haven't been home. I also I want to. Oh, I like the Union Grill. Mm. Union Grill is a lovely restaurant wait, in Washington, they, Pennsylvania. They, they make you wait a long time, and they don't take reservations. True, but well, it's, it's worth pretty it. Good, worth the wait. Oh my god, what I usually else get do a I like salmon. to do? I like to. Um, I like to fly drones because there's a lot of open space. Yeah, that's pretty fun. I like to I like to sleep in and then my mom and dad and uh, everybody else takes care of the dog and I don't do anything. Mm -hmm. Yep, Maddie gets to run free in the yard because he's like probably not gonna run away because there's a lot of space. So he gets to run around and that's always really nice and cute and he loves it and he gets to play with his cousin Bo. But I'm a little scared with Maddie and the baby now. Me too. He doesn't like children. He does not. Wonder where he gets it from. Don't know. <laughs> well, we like Bryn. Yeah, she's cute. Yeah, she's cute. She's we just don't want children of our own. No. And God. if you want to judge us for that decision, then I think you need to look inside of yourself and think of why are you judging us? I have gotten a lot of nice messages from people who said, I appreciate you talking up on behalf of just, you know, women or people in general about it being okay to not have kids. And I was like, wow, thank you. I didn't know, I didn't know I was such a role model, <laughs> but I was like, yeah, I mean, to me, it's not really something I thought about. Cause it's like, I don't feel this external pressure from society, but it's weird because I don't know, like I see all of my friends from home and people I went to high school, they've got like 20 kids by now. And I'm like, I do not feel that pressure. No. But it's definitely there, I feel like from people, not for me, but in the world and in society. It's like, when are you gonna get married? When are you gonna have a baby? It's like, when are you gonna shut your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> shut up! <laughs> I oh, don't. Shoot. <laughs> well, and here's, it, so oh. to that same point, it's really heartbreaking when people say that to other people. Like mm -hmm. if somebody says that to me, and the only thing that I have wanted is a child and I'm unable to have them, I that know. is a huge slap in the face, sure. which, sure. okay, I don't, I don't know if I can have, I'm not sure, I, I'm, we're not just, you know, I'm just we saying. We can barely raise one small dog together. What I'm saying <laughs> is by asking that simple question, you could be inflicting so much emotional pain for someone mm -hmm. and have no idea like eternally, like what they're going through. It's true. So it's just so stupid. It's like- Mind your own business. Unless someone else brings it up, then- don't e and don't ever ask someone like, oh, when are you due? Yeah. I'm just bloated. <laughs> oh, dude, I've been so bloated. I've been eating so many candies and sweets. I'm like, whoa. Well, I uh, I posted Tight pants. I posted something <laughs> about, I was like, uh, like, so we shot this video where I brought out all my iPhones and I was telling them that there's gonna be a new member of the family. Oh God. And some people <laughs> didn't read the title and they thought that this was a pregnancy announcement. And I that's don't, how you would announce I it? I was like, do you guys not realize that I th read the title, it says, I'm telling my old iPhones about the new iPhone. Oh my goodness. They're like, congratulations. I'm like, no, you guys, I just hit myself if you couldn't she see it. definitely hit, do it closer to the mic. Okay, ready, hold on. I don't know why Did you I hear got, it. Yeah, I got. <laughs> <laughs> That's, a good sound. That's a nice sound. We should add it in here. Just a slap. <laughs> it's, this is way more entertaining. <laughs> if you want to head over to youtube.com slash same brain around like the 44 minute mark. Hey, yeah, Dyla, you, give yourself a hit. It. Like you hit your head. <laughs> oh gosh, this is great. <laughs> okay, now, okay, now who's, someone do it. Okay, okay, okay. Who was it? Tyler. No, oh, no, I, I don't know. <laughs> you, of course you I know who it is. the game. No. Oh, man. Oh, my God. I'll see myself out. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, hold on a second. So, Jenna, we are thinking about um, doing some sort of like a road trip because we went to Moab for the A7S3. Ah. And we had so much fun, but it was such a work trip that we didn't really get to enjoy kind of everything. So I feel like I would love to go somewhere and kind of do what we did, but work a little less, but still make some fun content. I think that sounds like a great idea. Where will we go? What will we see? What will we do? So I would love to go to Hawaii, obviously. Yeah, but that's, we need to drive. I don't we, wanna be getting I agree. on a plane. I don't wanna get on a plane. I wanna drive. Also, I don't wanna leave Maddie. Don't wanna leave the dog. I love him. Yes, he's sweet. Him. Did he's you have something? Did you have something to tell I think we should go to Big Sur and then Oregon. <gasps> Wait. I was also thinking, do a nice oh drive God. up the coast. I had yeah. so much fun in Big Sur. It's Absolutely, like the best time. The problem is all the fires lately. We need to like. Okay, so the thing about the Oregon coast, it's like, I'm not going to say it's the same as Big Sur. I'm not going to say it's better than Big Sur, but it's like 
Big Sur, but like the entire Oregon coast is like Big Sur. There's like yeah. Yeah. beautiful beaches and like forests and cliffs and I agree. rocks and like lots of cool places to go and hike and like I'm it's down. Really I, is pretty. it going to be cold it. though in November? It might be a little bit colder, but it's it it shouldn't be too um, rainy. If people don't know, I'm from the Oregon coast and it does get pretty gnarly in the winter. But I mm. think if we go like early November, oh, it's a good band, by yeah. the way. <laughs> oh my um, God, it is. Um, yes, it is. Uh, it should, it'll be chilly. We'll have to wear coats. Okay. It'll, you know, it'll be, rain, it'll be very jacket. fashion. And then, well, it'll be nice. Well, here's what we can do. Okay. Uh, so the last band that we had had a TV in it. We never tried it though. We didn't. But if we did the not next try one it. does, next gen consoles are coming oh. out. Oh my God. Oh, we got, okay. So I was trying to figure out like, how do we pack all our stuff? Like we gotta oh. get, we gotta, we gotta look up a, a big Pelican case to get all of our gear because the last time we learned a lot. So, we so, had much, so much stuff and we need to keep it as contained as possible. I think we could also bring less. She says True. she's thinking yeah. about how many Xboxes and Playstations I need yeah. to bring. Mm -hmm. And the, now we have the Roadcaster and we have the A7. At least we have more A7S3s. And this will actually be easier because now we don't have to worry about recording externally. True. We can have a much smaller setup. True. Uh, I will yeah. bring my my light briefcase, my lights, of brief, my briefcase of lights. I Oh, I also have a gift for you of, of an embargoed item. I, I forgot. Ooh, is it a gift if it's from the company? Yes, well, it's- they I was gonna say, are you to trying to, to you. take the credit? No, we can't, ha we can't see it. What do you? It's private. Okay, yeah. I was not like, until no. later on. Yes, a date of later on. I have been so paranoid <laughs> in my office. Like anytime I go to make an Instagram story, I'm like looking around. I'm like embargoed, 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 embargoed. I'm like, I push it all to the side. It might sound like that's a like a like a being braggy. It's scary. It's actually terrifying. It's terrifying because there's such a huge pressure to make sure that you don't show this item. And then there was something that I had for so long that I completely you forgot forget, I know. that this was not even out yet. Yeah, it's, I know. It's, it's really scary. It's really scary. But, and like, I know, don't don't get me wrong. Like I'm very grateful and I'm very thankful to have all of these things, but I'm also like, this is so much work. And now it being teched over with all of these items and these products, I'm like, I want to make like the best video, but I'm also like, I'm so tired. How do I shoot this on myself, edit? And like, every time I go to set up my little office, like at night I usually game. So I have to like set everything back up because I only have like one desk. And I'm like, oh my God, this is, I'm not using my time wisely. It's rough. So it's a lot of work. I mean, even like me and Tyler together trying to tackle all it's of this. Lot. We're like, what are we, how do we do this? No. So, so then I get tired and I just take a nap. I'm like, oh. But yeah, it's crazy. Cause I was thinking like when I was growing up, like I'm doing exactly what I have always wanted to do. Like, this is it. Like I was thinking about it the other day. I'm like, I would watch uh, like Leo Laporte, like his podcasts, like growing up and like on like tech TV yeah. and all of that stuff. I was like, man, that's all I want to do is I want to be like either, I mean, not necessarily like on TV. Cause I just felt like something about being on TV was strange. Yeah. I, there, I was like, but the internet wasn't really a thing yet. Yeah. So it's like in my mind as it, I was a child watching, you know, like um, I guess it was, oh my gosh, what was it? It was like G4 back in the day like with grandma, yeah. <laughs> she would, I'd yeah. come home, well, we she would pick us up from school and then we would go to grandma's house and we would be watching Leo Laporte on like the screensavers. I'm like, man, that's what I want to do. You are, you're doing it, you're living I it. I know. Would you say it's everything that you thought it would be? Um, You know, when you see people doing things like that, you think it's going to be a lot easier. Yeah. It's definitely been an uphill battle and I think every day is an uphill battle, but it's like when you actually really do enjoy it. Yeah. Like it's great. It's it is. It is great. It's fun, but also it's a lot. I feel like I'm putting more work into doing this now, just because it's it really like it is fun. You know, we're yeah. creating whatever we want to create. It's not somebody saying you have to do this. No, for sure. Other than the embargo dates that are like you. you well, should. there's still not like you have to. It's like if you want to cover it, this is what you do by this time. Don't do it before that. Or dun, you're dun, in dun. trouble. And I bet the people who you looked up to when you were younger. Also, they were making it look easier. I'm sure it was much harder for them. The same way that people might see YouTube videos now and you know, you get people saying, oh, it's so easy to be a YouTuber oh. and they don't really understand yeah. how much work goes into it. Until they so, try it. Yeah. yeah. And then back then, like all of these like TV shows, I mean, that was like a huge production. Yeah. So that was just, I mean, that wasn't just like, hey, here you go, go do this. There's yeah. a ton of people doing that. It takes a whole lot of work to make it look easy. 
It's true. It really does. Even like when we send things for like approval, like we're working on something now and I sent like the final video over and they're like, this looks great. You guys are professionals. I was like, you didn't see the 20 (laughs) outtakes, the million times I hit the microphone, the 50 times I said the wrong word. Uh, It's just, it's like, yeah, when it's all said and done, it looks so nice and polished. But behind the scenes, the outtakes, oh my. I accidentally, so I was in such a hurry this morning to finish up this, this edit of something. I accidentally left, so I finished the video and then I was like, hmm, I think that there might be a little better of an intro. So I copied and pasted that whole clip and added it to the end of the video. And then I was scrolling through to try to find a better piece. Found the better piece, put it in, and I exported the whole video with to- all of my unedited footage at the end and then uploaded it and we sent it off. I was like, they're like, hey, we just wanted to know, uh, is all that other stuff a part of this video? Nope, nope, it is absolutely no. not. Yeah, so that's definitely a lot of work. A lot of work, very it expensive is. too. Very expensive to make Storage, content. Storage, oh gear, God, lighting, know. electricity. I mean, it's it's a constant, it's like, a constant. battle of making sure you're doing things the way that you, I guess should, or you kind of set a standard. <clears throat> we were talking about this yesterday because Tyler and I were shooting like this little uh, video. I was just like, it would be funny if like I was talking to my iPhones about the, the October 13th event. And it took us like 15 minutes to shoot. It took yeah. me less than an hour to edit, upload it, didn't think twice about it. And everyone was like, man, this is like my most favorite video of yours. I was like, oh, but what about all the other videos that I've spent thousands and thousands of dollars and hours on? <laughs> you gotta try less. <laughs> try not as hard. No, I think there's like this block, I feel like when we're doing videos that it has to be the best, everything has to be perfect. And then sometimes it really doesn't matter. You know, it's true. Like, I mean, there's been like vlogs. I'm like, I'm just gonna upload this anyway. And it does way better than the video that I spent a week on. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, okay, well, to be fair, they do say we want vlogs. And I'm like, no, you want this. And I'm like, no, they want vlogs for what me. I'm curious is little Jenna, when baby Jenna, was thinking like what what she wanted to do. Like, what did you want Dude, to do? I had no idea. Okay. I think at one time I was like, I want to be an architect. And then I was like, Ugh, math, gross. And then I was like, I want to be a veterinarian. And then I was like, I cannot be around sick animals because it'll just crush me. I've always loved animals ever since I was little. I remember we had like, we used to have a bunch of cats and it would be like, we grew up on a farm. So people would unfortunately just like, toss animals out and I will never forget the day that mom came home with Toby. Our I dog was, Beagle. Oh my God. I was, I think I was maybe like six or seven. Do you remember how I old think you, you were? were? Probably younger I than that. I was real little, real yeah. little. And I remember I was like, oh mom, so I'm cool. And I was like looking out the window and I see her coming out of the car, carrying her bags and in her hand, she has like something wrapped in this like jacket. And I'm like, what does she have? And then I see these little floppy ears and I'm like, oh my God, she How has do a dog. This? I don't remember anything, but I will never forget that because I like always wanted a dog. I'm like, there's a dog. And then I'm like, can we keep it? And then her dad was always like, no, stop keeping these animals. <laughs> but he loved beagles and he yeah. had beagles growing up. So the fact that it was a beagle, um, but oh, my mom didn't like steal a dog. She was driving home from work and she was, she like saw this dog in the side of the road. It was a little puppy. She went to all the neighboring houses. Like, did you lose this dog? Like where she tried to find the owners. And I think she eventually came to the conclusion that uh, might have been dumped. So instead so of leaving sad. a very small young puppy out in the cold, cause I think it was raining or something that day. Then the puppy then came home and his name was Toby. And I think he lived for like 15 years. I named him. Why did I name the dog Toby? I don't know. There you was also no. named our cat Jane. Oh yeah, but that was from Jane's addiction. Jane Of course it was. <laughs> like, na, 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 na. I don't know. I was like five. I was just. Why did I name five? the dog Toby? There was a reason why I did. I don't know. I don't remember. I, do, I remember when she came home, she had that little doggy wrapped in a jacket. Or maybe it was like an old towel from like her. I think it might've been. From Toby. The, the book Animorphs, because I think there was a, a character named Tobias. Oh, maybe. If I, re- I don't remember. I don't, think I don't even though. know what we were talking about, but I somehow, oh, you were asking what I wanted to be. Yeah. Well, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> I, I started talking about our first what did, dog. <laughs> what did little Tyler want to be when he grew up? Uh, I wanted to be like Indiana Jones, <laughs> but then I, when I, got older i realized that archaeologists like it's not that exciting Mm -hmm. like you most of the time you're just not doing anything and i mean actually i'm I'm not super sure about that so if any archaeologists are listening and i just dissed your job i'm sorry but i realized that 
you know, most archaeologists aren't like Indiana Jones. They're not out on digs every day is basically what you're saying. Yeah, like, they're yeah. not. I, I yeah. was super, super into dinosaurs. <gasps> Very wow. much into dinosaurs. So you must have really been into oh, went to Moab a, Giants. Yeah, I have a story Stop, to tell it? you guys oh, yeah, off mic, off podcast. Okay, I love that. Okay. I also remembered that I wanted to be a pathologist. But this was later on in life when I went to school for forensic biology. I was like, I could be a pathologist because I, it would be cool. I can tell Not the cool. story. He can tell the story. He's going to tell the story. Okay. Um, when I was in like third grade, I had this friend where he's a kid in my grade and I was really into dinosaurs and I had this dinosaur book and I was like showing it to him and he said, um, he said, my dad says if you believe in dinosaurs, you're going to hell. <gasps> <laughs> Why? What? Because his family were like um, creationists, oh. I guess. I didn't know that at the time, obviously. I yeah. was just like. Oh, uh, That's what? so heartbreaking. And then, I went child. Home, and then I went home and told my parents. And I think that my parents wants to talk to his parents or something. It was like a whole thing. Oh, oh no. Like, <laughs> oh, no. Did you ever read the book, All My Friends Are Dead? I've heard of it. I haven't read it either. I yeah. just thought of that because there's a dinosaur oh. on the cover. Did you guys know that Jurassic World Domination is coming out summer 22? I think it says Dominion. Get out of here. Domin <laughs> Domin I think it says Dominion. So I'm reading. Uh, it, says, it says Dominion. <laughs> Domi okay, it should have said Domination. I'm mad. It's okay. I mean, I'm I, mad. I just wanted to correct you. That's what it should say. Uh, that's not what it's called. They've been shooting in the UK. Oh. Uh, They've, of course, had some positive COVID-19 tests from the crew. I so. mean, our new Batman had COVID. Who's our new Batman? Uh, Robert Pattinson, right? Oh, you're right. Yes, that's right. Oh my God. COVID. If, if Look, new Batman gets COVID, no one's safe. Um, if Tom Hanks- that That's was, how I knew. That's serious. how I knew. When, when, I, when Tom Hanks got COVID, I was like, this isn't a joke. <gasps> he got it early on. It early he did, on. he was early. I was like, if Tom Hanks has it, nobody's safe. Dude, I was sad that day. We saw Tom Hanks once. We did. We basically at, had brunch with him. We and his did family. because he sat at our table after we left. He didn't. We didn't. No, he, we hurried up. We're like, Tom Hanks is waiting at this restaurant. We need to eat fast and go. So we scurried, ate our meal, left, and then he sat at our table. He didn't sit at our table. He no, he sat at the table that we were at. We weren't at. He the didn't. Table. I remember. Okay, well. He's not remembered differently. I don't, that's not how memories work. Well, for some people, it does. Uh, do, you have, do you have something Me you want to share? Memories are weird. Me memories are weird. Yeah. Most of our memories are total, like they're just totally made up stories that we tell ourselves. Like so. what Justine just told about Tom Hanks sitting on her table. Well, you could be making it up. No, too. no, that's true. No, you like. You know, Ask me anything. I could have totally fabricated that story about the kid in third grade too. Then you'd be a liar. No, well, but it, there's a real thing. You can look it up. Memory. Um, I dysmorphia? forget the name of it, but. Most sure. memories are either total fabrications or really distorted. It's weird. Hallucinations. Memory recall issues. Oh, well, my gosh. There could Me be. Uh, memory distortion, I distortion. think. Distortion. That's memory true. Dis I believe that. Distortion. Do you think it's worse in men or women? Um, I don't know. I don't know either, actually. I don't know if, there, if, it, if that makes a difference or not. So memories are reconstructed in many different ways after events happen, which means they can be distorted by several factors. These factors include... What's that word? Sch sch schemas? Schemas? What does that mean? Schemas. We're going to look up that one. We're going to look it up. Source amnesia and the misinformation effect, the hindsight Bi bias, the overconfidence effect. <coughs> overconfidence <coughs> effect. <coughs> and, oh my God, there's so many freaking words in here. It's schema. Just, okay, schemas. Schemas memory. Hold on, okay. Schema. Schema means... It's a representation of a plan or theory in the form of an outline or model. Huh. Schema. <laughs> like I have a couple memories from my childhood that actually aren't, I found out later, aren't memories. They're just like, I've heard my family tell the story so many times. But to me, in my head, I remember it. Yeah. Like I swear, I would swear, I bet money that I experienced it and I remembered it, but it actually wasn't me. Would you be, I believe would that. You bet some Bitcoin? Oh, well, well now yeah. we know. Like, well, I know now I've been told that it wasn't a real memory, but like 
in my head, it's super weird yeah. when you find out that a memory you have is actually not a memory. I believe it's that. Yeah. Trippy. No, have you guys ever sure. been hypnotized? No, but you, have you ever been hypnotized? Have been. I'm not a believer. I'm a believer. Well, well, let me tell you I what. I wasn't either until, I don't I think I've told this story before. I don't even remember, but. I don't remember. I, I, was, I was young, but. Got hypnotized and like, I, not a believer. And I wasn't even listening to this guy's voice. We were at like some conference or something. And then there was like a stage hypnotist doing this or that. And then. Were they taking <clears throat> um, like volunteers to go on stage? Yes. But I was in the audience and just kind of was like, oh my God, I'm so tired. I thought you went on the stage. No, I didn't go on the stage. See, you're remembering the story a little different. I was young. I don't. You were I, very young. I honestly think that this was just what I heard, but okay, sorry, God. No. So I was like, it's weird because I was, I remember being really tired. So I feel like whatever he was saying on stage, like I was very susceptible and I was just kind of like, you know, listening and kind of just hearing the the phrases and the stuff that he was saying. And I fell into some weird hypnotic state and like, I just started crying and I could not stop at all. So they like carried me out of this place. And then I just remember after I, I don't like that whole part of whatever happened, like I don't remember. That's I just weird. remember crying and not being able to like control myself. Ooh. And I wasn't following any of the prompts that he was saying, cause they got me out of there. And then they had this guy come back in later to come like check on me and to see like if I was okay. Are you still under the spell? Dude, I don't know. It would make sense. I, it would make sense. And, but then he like re-hypnotized me and like did something to try to like keep me calm or something. I don't know. I don't remember that all of it. That is so weird. I wonder what goes into that. Like. I don't know. And I really feel like because you have to be like sort of open to it. And also because I feel like I was so tired that it just like my body was kind of weak and I was just susceptible to whatever. I don't know. I didn't like it. So now anytime there's like a hypnotist a or something in the vicinity, or if I'm anywhere where they are, there was one at this YouTube thing that we went and I, I, I left the room. I was like, I can't be here for this. <laughs> like I can't, I have bad experiences. So wonder, bad. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm very curious to see and read more about it. Cause I just you too, I don't actually. really know anything about it. This was in high school, oh. a very long time have ago. Have you ever fainted or passed out? Um, yes. Uh, is that it? Is that, it? Is that the <laughs> extent of you're willing to, to go in the story? Yes. Oh, okay. I did once in high school. So in high school, this is really shady behavior, but if you donated blood, you could get um, bonus points for our math class. So I think it, I was in like, like trig or like geometry. So I was like, oh, I'm going to donate blood and could get some bonus points. But we also had a very important volleyball game later that day. So I technically wasn't supposed to donate blood because I was like, you know, an all-star athlete. Yeah, there she is. There she is. Hold on a second. They're oh, not, wait, they're no, not, that's the wrong no, one. no, no. Anyway, so I donated blood, but I guess, I don't know. And I remember donating blood and they're like, okay, go sit over there, grab a snack. The next thing I remember is waking up outside in a grassy field with like five people over top of me. And I'm like, I wow. go, what happened? They go, you fainted. I go, no, I'm just taking a nap. They go, no, you're not. <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm just taking a nap. And then- um, We just ran out of card space. Oh my God. It just stopped recording. This was a, oh my God. That's a sign. The audio is still happening. It's a sign. Okay, audio is still happening. Do we want to grab, um, uh, the there's, oh shoot. Hold on a second. Oh God. This was such a good story. Oh God, I passed out in the grass. No, this is going to be in the video. I passed out it's in the grass. It's just going to go to black. Okay, so we're still rolling. Okay, so to keep up with the story, I woke up with five people over me. Um, one of them, his name was Dustin. He was like, Jenna, I followed you. You were heading outside. You were kind of like stumbling. He went out, followed me. And as I was about to pass out, I would have cracked my head open and hit it on the brick wall. And he's like, I caught you. And then I like got help. And that was when I fainted. It was because I gave blood and I didn't have a snack. And Do Dustin you, saved me from- Do you think this is a recording proxy as well? We're also recording know. proxy. Can I We're, format this? This is, this is live. This is live happening. Don't format it yet. We're just, we're almost done here. Oh, okay. Maddie, yeah. come here. You know what we need? We need to put two cards in there. We need more cards. Yeah. Well, so that's what happens with the new Sony A7S III. You can have technically four SD cards. Yeah, but we, well, they're not at the SCF. Okay, it's there's the 23 minutes left on this card. That's good. We're, we, okay. we're, we're rolling. We're gonna, no, we're gonna wrap up. I something else I wanted to say. This is live clapping. Okay. Oh, hey, Maddie. Shoot. 
Maddie, would you like to say anything to the microphone? Uh, okay, he ran like away. No, he ran away. So anyway, uh, I guess in conclusion, I forgot what I was going to say. You I said don't... you were done talking forty minutes ago. I was, but once you get me talking, I got a lot to say. I got, I got, a, I got a lot to say. Well, guys, we have some special episodes coming up we do. soon, so make sure you subscribe on all the on places. all of the things. Follow us on all of the things, and we will see you again next week for a new episode of Same Brain Podcast. Roll that outro. Song. We need to put ours on there. Roll that outro. Bye.